Hey guys, what's up? For those of you that don't know me, my name is Chrisanna, and if you're new here, welcome. And if you're an oldie, welcome back. In today's video, we have a bunch of new lip products to test out by Essence. And if you guys don't know, lip swatching videos are my favorite to film, and they're also my favorite to watch. On Ulta's website, Essence came out with eight new lipsticks, and I got seven of those. So these are the Essence Hydra Matte Lipsticks, and I love the bright pink packaging. Then they also launched either six or seven new lip liners. I got five of them, and these are the Essence 8-Hour Matte Comfort Lip Liners. So here are all the shades that I got for the lip liners. The lip liners retail for $3.99 and then the lipsticks retail for $5.99, which is a really, really good price. If these lip liners are going to be anything like their other lip liners, I'm definitely going to love them. So I already have six Essence lip liners. And if you guys have been here for a while, you guys know that these are by far my favorite lip liners. The shade that I wear almost every day is the shade Incurious. And here is what it looks like. And as you guys can see, this shade is almost gone. I need to get a new one. Last year when I bought these lip liners, when I looked on Ulta's website, they all looked like they were going to be like pinkish nude colors. And then they came and they were like straight up pinks and reds. But this year when they launched these lip liners, I was looking on Ulta's website and they all looked nude. And I'm like, huh, I'm going to try them out. I'm going to see if they're nude. And they actually really look nude in person. So I'm very excited. So how we're going to swatch everything is I'm going to swatch all the lip liners on their own. Then I'm going to swatch all the lipsticks. And then at the end, we'll find a lip liner and a lipstick to pair up together so the main difference from the lip liners they launched this year and last year is these ones are the essence eight hour matte comfort lip liners and then the ones from last year are the stay eight hour lip liners and they're waterproof I don't really know if I would say they're 100% waterproof, but they do last all day long. Let's start out by swatching the lip liners first. I'll swatch everything on my hand and then also on my lips. We're gonna start with number one and this is the shade 01 cinnamon spice I'm pretty sure okay yeah they all have a sharpener at the bottom if you pull off the little part where the color is, then you can sharpen your um, pencil. I don't really sharpen these just because they are a roll up. But I mean, if you want to get like a really precise line, you can do that. So here is what the tip looks like. And I'll roll it up so you guys can see how much product comes in there. Ooh, that's a lot of product. Ooh, that's a really pretty shade and it feels very creamy. I'm pretty much going to apply it like I'm applying lipstick just so you guys can see the color. Mm, and it actually smells like cinnamon as well. I think maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm just like thinking about cinnamon and that's why I smelled it. It's a really, really pretty shade. I like that a lot. So I wouldn't say this formula feels extremely drying. I feel like in a sense, all lip liners are kind of dry. It's like not uncomfortable or anything like that. You could definitely rock this lip liner on its own and add a gloss on top just for a little bit of shine and a little bit of moisture. So far, I think it might feel a little bit more drying than their other lip liners that I have, but it's not bad. I'm gonna remove it with a makeup wipe and it does not wanna budge. Like it is stuck, which is definitely a good thing when you wanna wear it all day long. Not a good thing for me because I have to swatch four more of these. Next shade we have is 02 Silky Hazelnut. Here is the shade Silky Hazelnut. I lied. I said they didn't feel as creamy as the other lip liners, but they definitely do. They glide on very, very nicely. I honestly just don't know how it's possible for them to only charge $4 each because they are so good. The next shade we have is 03 Soft Beige. Next is the shade 04 Rosy Nude. I feel like this is probably going to be my favorite shade. The last shade we have is Cool Mob. I really, really like this shade. I thought it was going to be darker, but I think the shade is like perfect. All five lip liner swatch. Let's go ahead and get into the lipsticks. So we're going to start with the lightest and work our way to the darkest. So out of all the lipsticks, there were eight shades. I got seven. Okay, so let's take a look at the packaging first. So I do love the hot pink packaging. It does feel very cheap. But again, lipsticks are only $6, so it's super affordable. So first we have the shade 401 Mauve. So here is a closer look at the packaging. The shade is going to look like. And here is lipstick, and here is how much product you get. This looks like a really, really pretty shade. 
feels very, very creamy in the swatch. Here is the shade Mauve. Mmm, these smell really good. Very fruity. So upon application, these kind of feel like a semi-matte. I wouldn't say they're like fully matte, but we'll definitely give it a minute and see if it dries down matte. It's got very nice pigmentation. One swipe was enough. We have the shade 402 Honey. I'm really excited about this shade. It looks like a really nice nude. Here is the shade Peach It. Next is the shade Virtu Rose. Next is the shade Berry Special. Next is the shade Cherryific. The last shade we have is Coral Competence. I feel like this shade should have been before the reds just because it is lighter. This shade is stunning, especially for like a summer, spring, bright, colorful look. It's very pretty. Okay guys, so all the lip liners and lipsticks are swatched and here are all of the swatches. I absolutely love all the lip liners and I love all the shades from the lip liners as well. I feel like some of the lipsticks are definitely out of my comfort zone, but I feel like they were all still really pretty. Oh wow, those lip liners, they are stubborn. They do not want to come off, which again is a really good thing because that means they're going to last all day long. Like I'm not the type of person that will touch up my lipstick a lot. Like I feel like if I'm out and about and I have my makeup done and I really, really need to touch it up, I will. Other than that, I like to wear a lipstick that is gonna last all day. Okay, so the lipsticks come off much easier than the lip liners do. I feel like they're kind of still leaving a stain though. Oh yeah, you guys, look at that stain around my lips. My lips look super, super pink. So let's go ahead and use two of my favorite lip liners and then two of my favorite lipsticks and let's pair them together. You guys probably don't know what they're going to be. They're going to be the most mauve nude ones out of all of them. So I really, really loved the lip liner in O2 Silky Hazelnut. This is so pretty. So I'm going to line with this. I'm going to have to try a little harder to get that lipstick off because it's bugging me. absolutely love the color of this lip liner it's so pretty and then for the lipstick i'm going to take the shade honey which is zero two the lipstick shade is definitely way more of like a warm nude whereas lip liner is more of a mob but i do feel like they go okay together i don't think it's like the perfect match here is what the two look like together The next lip liner I'm going to take is the shade 04 Rosy Nude. And then I'm going to take the lipstick in the shade Virtue Rose. I'm not really sure if I want to take the Virtue Rose one just because I think it might be a little bit too dark. Okay, so I'm going to try the one in 403 Peach It. Just because I think this one will match a little bit better. I feel like out of all the lipsticks, there's only one lipstick that's a true nude. It's the one we just used in 402 Honey. I feel like all the rest are like really peachy or pink. Okay, now this is a really good, really pretty lip duo. It's definitely more on the light side, whereas I feel like over the last year, I've gotten into lipsticks and lip liners that are a little bit more lighter tone and more pink. I feel like there for a while, I was using a lot of like really dark browns and I still love browns, but I just feel like lighter pinky tones like this suit me better. And here is what this lip combo looks like. I 
it a few seconds to dry down and then we're gonna do a kiss test. So I like that with these matte lips, I can still move my lips together very comfortably. Like it's not extremely drying like a liquid lipstick is. It definitely feels very airy, very lightweight on the lips. Again, I would say it's kind of like a soft matte. So we're gonna go ahead and do a kiss test. Okay, so we only have a little bit of transfer, which is really, really good. For a $6 lipstick, I think that's amazing. So for the lip liners, the $3.99, it's definitely a steal. If you guys like any of these shades, I would recommend picking them up. And for the lipsticks, for $5.99, I would definitely recommend these as well. So if these lipsticks remind me of any lipstick, it would be the Milani Soft Matte Lipsticks. Now, they feel almost the exact same way, but the Milani ones, they last all day. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated in the description box on how the Essence ones were throughout the day. Overall, guys, I think this video was a success. So if you guys didn't like in this video, please be sure to give it a big old thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. If there's anything at all that you guys want to see next, please let me know. If you guys ever have any ideas on things that you want me to film, please let me know because half the time you guys, I'm stuck in my room thinking like, what the heck am I going to film today? Even though I am surrounded like over here, over here, behind me, I am surrounded by makeup and I just feel like I never have anything to post about. So if there's anything you guys want to see, please, please, please do not hesitate and let me know. And yeah, guys, I'm running out of time. I got to get to the school to get my daughter because she'll be getting out here soon. But I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.